Hello everyone, I am Raja Raman. Welcome to .NET Training Academy. Actually today we are going to talk about migrations in Entity Framework. This is really a very important topic and very important concept for uh, developing and backend based applications using Entity Framework. This helps you a lot in many ways. So why migration? To make your answer much more simple, the picture in this uh, video uh, explains more than my words. Migrations in database is used to track our models. For example, if you are not uh, seen uh, anything about entity framework please check out my last two videos in my in this entity framework essential training series so then if you don't see go ahead go there and watch all the videos and then come back here because if you directly come here you may get things really uh, you may feel things really complicated so the migrations uh, or created in a classes so each class in entity framework represented as a table so when we create a class or a model uh, we we need to directly create a migrations which means we are we are going to track we are tracking that point that class for example if we create an application student management system, uh, the first thing that we need to do is to create the entire database. Uh, as usual, we, that we are going to do that in a code first workflow. But the one thing that you need to notice is uh, when it comes to uh, migration, you need to track each and every pit points. If you are already familiar with Git, and git version control on github you may feel this concept very similar to that because we are tracking in github or git we are tracking our project of uh, whatever the steps that we do what are the modules that we do that we are tracking if we do some bugs if if some errors that happens which collapses our entire project we get into this uh, get into big problem <laughs> so when we track our uh, project we can uh, roll over or come back or uh, get into the point uh, of the track uh, which is clear so that's the whole point uh, using the migration uh, we can create the n, uh, n number of models like student table and like teachers table and classes table and courses table so we can create a number of tables for each table we need to add a separate migration for the table that uh, which represent that we are committing uh, committing that uh, track so we are so by committing the track we can easily um, track our application for example uh, the courses uh, we get problem in courses class uh, the entire our entire applications collapsed due to the uh, um, uh, due to the weird modeling uh, weird relationship that we are given so that collapses our entire table so the thing that we can do is we can revert back our migration and make our application uh, normal uh, back to the safe zone so that's the uh, very important thing that we need to learn uh, on entity framework uh, so that we need to learn about the migrations so of course let's go ahead and work it out so here is it I have created a simple application named uh, console app and I also uh, configured my uh, uh, connection strings and databases so there are two types of uh, uh, migration the first one is automated migration 
and second one is a code based migration uh, I'm not a big fan of automated migration uh, where you can uh, once you configure the automatic migration uh, the whatever uh, classes the whatever model that you create and commit it will automatically migrate it in our database but it's not uh, the only bad thing on that is it's not in your control it will automatically do uh, all the stuffs but the um, manual control uh, you lose the manual control of that migration so I prefer using code base migration to the first thing first step that we need to do to enable migration is to actually to enable our migration so the first thing open up the package manager console if you if you cannot find that go to the views and other windows and you can see package manager console so that's it all the things that we can do is to enable a migration migrations should be plural because we are going to migrate n number of uh, classes so enable migration so it's created a new folder inside the folder we are having a file called configuration.cs so in this we can uh, have a sealed class configuration for database migration so here we can see the uh, see the, our data or we can override uh, some migration and create relationship between the tables kind of stuffs so this is not really important but it is important but it is not important for now so the second thing is second thing that we need to do is to add a migration so uh, we are, we can call this as an initial migration uh, because the name that you use is your choice so to make this much more clear I'm going to type this as add school table okay add uh, the syntax is add migration and the migration name so that's it so it will take some time to add a migration the because the code is generating so the it, it's scaffold the entire code to create a students table so in this la uh, lambda expression we are creating a new uh, ID uh, I mean new table uh, you can see the whole bunch of uh, C sharp query uh, normally we see this kind of uh, stuffs in SQL but uh, though we are using entity framework and also the uh, migrations we can the, we can easily create these kind of stuffs so that's it so after we uh, created a migration uh, you can go ahead and check in our database um, so here is our database so uh, I created my database in SQL Server Management Studio I can refresh my database see any tables uh, over here we haven't uh, we haven't completed our step the third step is we need to update our database uh, yes we know that we created the database we added a migration and also enabled migration but we haven't updated that stuff into the database so we need to update database so using the command update database so that's it it's pretty simple and here yeah I get a table so here it is we can see our table columns we table design a table so here it is see so we are having a integer name and name and mark so as it is the ID is primary key as we have declared over here 
this uh, we are using a primary key so the thing is uh, we can also see the migration history over here when it comes to the table design we can see the migration ID and the context key and the model and the product version so the all the things that happens over uh, here is using the context context is a gateway for uh, uh, interacting with our database so what are the classes I mean the whatever the models that we are adding over here is directly connected to our database so let's add another migration so here we can add some uh, something called course migration and then what we can do is to public int ID and something like uh, and secondly uh, uh, to make this stuff a lot more easier you can uh, uh, you can use your code snippet like prop and then tab it and to get your uh, properties so string name so the next thing that we need to do is to add that in our DB context inside our DB set so inside of that we need to add our course class uh, to be more specific it is a course table the courses it's need to be plural so get set so that's it so save that and the thing is I need I'm going to add another migration and migration add course table So I added the course table and this next thing is to update update database so now we can check stuff so here when we refresh this we can have the courses table and also the students table so the thing that you also need to know is to uh, how to uh, revert back to our position so uh, if we have collapsed our project entire project in well connecting a relationship uh, with a course table uh, we get some problems so we need to revert back our project so the first thing that we okay to revert back our migration uh, the first thing that you need to know is to watch this uh, to, uh, to analyze this code so here is a two methods one is up method and another one is down method so in the up method uh, when the up method code is triggered we are, uh, the table is created so we are creating a table and it will create uh, all this all the data that we need to create in our table so when a down method is triggered uh, it will drop the database so uh, when we add our migration and when we update our database up method is triggered when we try to target our database for the revert back position uh, the down method will be triggered so just like this update database the command that we need to use is to update database the or target database uh, or you can use the short name shorthand of T so and then you need to use the table my I mean the migration name school table which denotes that which represents which defines that we uh, needs to uh, this command is uh, tells that uh, we need to come back to the position of school table so that uh, the down method will execute in this migration so it will drop the table of DB courses so let's execute that 
okay fine now I'm going to refresh this yes everything is good uh, students table is come back and here the drop method is executed and so that's it for this uh, video uh, thanks for watching and uh, this is all about migration and uh, you should use migration in a small steps you, you should not do a, a big migration like for about creating a 10 classes or 10 tables and then you migrate once it's 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 useless so you should create a migration for each and every classes or each and every model that you create so uh, the model that I state here is a table so thanks for watching uh, if you are not subscribed please subscribe and leave your feedbacks or comments or doubts in the comment section if you haven't watched my previous couple of tutorials uh, I, I just wish you to watch this because if you don't you you cannot understand the lot of ins and outs that I talk about here because those stuff I talked in that previous videos so that's it thanks for watching please subscribe and like our videos and uh, if you haven't uh, pressed our notification button of our channel please press that to get our uh, quick updates of our channel so thank you bye bye